Welcome to Inside the Lines with Coach Heather Dyke. I'm Kurt Esser, your host. And welcome back. I know last week you were on the road, I think, doing a little recruiting. I was, yeah. I was. Brad Keller filled in for you nicely. Yep, he, he did a great job, too. And we're yeah. excited to have you back. Um, uh, you know, due to a little scheduling quirk you had last weekend off from a, a real competitive game. Um, so how did you treat the previous week and how are you, are you back into the flow this week? Yeah, it's, it's actually ended up being kind of a nice um, two weeks for us because it's given us a chance to actually go in and teach and coach a little bit where mm -hmm. I think leading up to that point, just our schedule was so many kind of Wednesday, Thursday games that it felt like it was always a game recovery session pregame. Mm -hmm. And so these past two weeks, I think we've been able to clean some things up and, and refine a little bit. Um, and then, you know, our, our two opponents in the Big Ten, Minnesota just turned around and beat Ohio State and Penn State. So Minnesota's probably now top 15 in the country. So it was a, a tough weekend that we worked really hard and battled hard and actually, I think, got a lot out of it. Very good. Now we're kind of setting our sights on on Utah State, Boise State, what do you expect from, from both of those teams? They're both great teams. Yeah, I think, I think they're two of the um, consistently good teams in our conference. And in watching game film on them, they both play. They both keep the ball. They're organized. Um, they have some special players. And we have to go up there to them, which is not easy travel. So yeah. it's certainly probably one of the harder conference weekends that we have um, and two quality opponents. And Utah State just had a nice result against Utah. They did. Utah, yeah. Utah State just beat Utah, which is a Pac-12 team. So yeah. anytime you beat a Pac-12 team, that, that's no easy task. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Um, you know, we've talked throughout the season about how you guys, the coaches, break down your season. Is that is this kind of the next phase then? Yeah, I mean, for, for us, I, I think you have to look at, at the season in three phases. It's, it's kind of preseason, I mean, you know, pre-conference play and then your conference play, which you need to qualify for the tournament. Mm -hmm. And the only automatic bid that you get as a Mountain West team is to win your tournament. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it really is kind of three portions and, and how you manage that and how you manage legs. And we, we feel as a team, despite, you know, our record not being where we want it to be, we feel pretty good going into it. We've had some tough games and I think we're pretty battle tested. And I, I think the kids are, are ready to play. It seems like the way the schedule's set up, there's been some teams that have had pretty established uh, you know, schedules and, and RPI, and then there's been some teams that maybe we felt like we're probably better, and now we're facing a bunch of teams over the Mountain West Conference that really we, we probably match up well. Yeah, it's kind of, we're kind of on par with all of them. The Mountain West is a good conference that way in the sense that you have no easy games, and I think that that's an exciting piece of it. I mean, every weekend you got to show up to play, but I, I feel really confident that if we do that, we'll at least give everybody a quality game. So I go into it, I go into it, you know, optimistically confident, but the, the players have been working hard and at some point hard work pays off. So I, I know it will for them. And you mentioned the players. What have you learned about the team? I mean, what's, what's the kind of the identity of all that? Yeah, I mean, they, th this group of players, they're, you know, we've got three fifth-year seniors. And, you know, one of them is a transfer here, but they're, they're mature that way. They, they've been through a lot. They get a lot. And so I think that's been a really good thing because Young players tend to be so focused on the results that they miss the fact that you're actually playing really quality soccer. I mean, we outshot, outdefended. I mean, we, we, in my opinion, we outplayed Michigan State. Mm -hmm. And so to lose that game could have really devastated the team, but we played so well that I, I think they recognized that we got something out of it. Right. So now, you know, the conference is different because results are going to matter and we, we have to put it all together. But I think that maturity about the group has been a really positive thing. Very good. Very good. We, we, uh, we talked to a lot of the student athletes about what they do on the road and how they manage their time. I know you, there's no real downtime, but what kinds of things do you like to do on the road? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's such a privilege to be able to play a college sport or to coach a college sport and to travel and see these different parts of the country. So we've tried really hard every place we've been to take them somewhere local or take them somewhere that's, you know, unique to that. We went to a cider mill in Michigan, which was really cool. I'd never been to one. So we're, we're trying to make sure the players get kind of a quality experience from their travel instead of just seeing a hotel room and a restaurant. And then for us, a lot of our downtime is, is video analysis and making sure that we do everything, everything we can to be prepared. Well, thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time again. It's always great having you here. Yeah, thank you, Kurt. I appreciate it. And we look forward to uh, our next segment with senior Dylan O'Connor. Welcome back to the show, and welcome to the show as well, Thank Dylan O'Connor. Thank you. Happy to have you here. Happy to be here. Very good. Well, tell Lobo fans a little bit about yourself and, and where you are in school and all that kind of stuff. Okay. My name's Dylan, and I'm from Southern California in the Los Angeles area. I am a senior in school, and I just applied to the nursing program, so we're anxiously waiting 
to hear back from them. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the and gist you, of me. And you play a little soccer too. In your Sometimes, meantime, right? yeah, in my spare time. <laughs> now, nursing school, one of the biggest challenges, one of the most challenging programs here at UNM. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the process. And you mentioned that you're hoping to hear soon, but. Yeah, you know. so there's a bunch of classes you have to take to get into the nursing program, um, like the prerequisites and stuff. So I've completed those and I submitted my application about a week and a half ago. So they just sift through all of the applicants. There's about, they say between 150 and 200 typically, and 64 people get in. So um, now it's just a waiting game, just waiting to hear back from them. So, Good stuff. Well, yeah. I hope they call me. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Exactly. Exactly. So um, you had the last weekend off, turn mm -hmm. into soccer. Mm -hmm. um, what'd you guys do? Just lay around, do nothing, take naps? Um, well, for some of the time, which was actually very much needed and, um, I don't know, it just helped us get re revitalized. Re yeah, revitalized. Sure. Um, but, I, I mean, we did have practice. We had our exhibition game on Saturday, mm -hmm. so we took that as a real game mm -hmm. and um, played it as if it was a different opponent, even though we were playing ourselves. But yeah. um, I think it was just a good opportunity for us to get our legs fresh going into conference, and it's an advantage that not any of the other teams have because they didn't have this weekend off. So right. um, it was just a good opportunity for us to be fresh for next weekend when conference starts. Very good. And you mentioned conference starts. We're mm -hmm. heading to Utah State, Logan, Utah, yep. and then to Boise State. Mm -hmm. tell, tell fans what it's like to travel and what do you, do you get some more downtime? Do you get to tr study a little bit more or is it a little bit more hectic? What do mm -hmm. you how do you divide up your days? Um, well, traveling is one of the funnest parts about being on the team, but um, typically we're on the go, and then Saturdays are usually our designated homework days, mm -hmm. so we pick those days to wake up, do homework, um, travel a little bit if we have to drive or fly to the next state, right. and then for dinner we usually have it catered in, and so we get a little more homework time at night also. Um, and then games are Fridays, Sundays, so those days are pretty set for us. Right. But, I mean, it's just, it's fun to travel. You get to be with your teammates all the time, get to be in bands with them, hotel rooms, so. Listen to a little music. Yeah, I've been in charge a little of bit. music on some <laughs> Yeah. So, very good. Um, I'm going to ask this of every senior who's on the show. Uh, mm -hmm. What are some of your favorite memories of your four years here? Mm, too many to count. Um, Honestly, some of my favorites are the killer spring workouts that we had at five o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> and although it wasn't very fun waking up that early, I mean, it was just so incredible, like what we could push ourselves to do and yeah. like what we can make our bodies do that you just don't even, you can't even imagine doing. Um, so those were some really fun memories. Traveling is always fun. Um, playing the number one team in the country twice that's something that not very many people can say that they did. So just those things are some of my best. Some pretty memories. awesome stuff. And it yeah. probably will be a really good uh, uh, training for nursing school. Right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Well, it was great having you on the show. Thank you. Uh, good luck this weekend. Thank Safe you. travels. Thank you. And I uh, um, we'll hope we bring home a couple of W's. Yes, we will bring very home good. two W's. All right. Thank you, Lobo fans. Tune in next week.